Hey, 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 guys, welcome to Chief Concerns. It's our, our official Super Bowl week show, and we're here with our host, former tight end Jason Dunn and former cornerback Eric Warfield. Today we're breaking down the Super Bowl, obviously Chiefs and Buccaneers. We, talk, we talked a little bit about it last week, but this week to help us break it down, we have former FSU Florida State great and Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Snoop Minna Snoop. Yeah. How are you, man? What's up, what's up, fellas? What's up, my okay. man? My brother, right there. The original Snoop. That's right, baby. That, I, well, I don't know about the original. You know what I'm saying? But I'll take it. Man, it's good to be on with y'all, man. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, no, it's great to have you on. When Eric told me you were coming on today, I was like, hell yeah, no stupid minutes. I mean, I, I, play, I used to play NFL Blitz 2000 back in the day. I, I, that was one of my favorite games. Then you were one of my favorite targets in that game. Man, come on, Mark. You going away. You make me feel old now. You make me feel old now. Yeah, but you know, man, whenever you reach out, man, it's whatever for my brother, man. I'm here. Yeah, appreciate mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. Now, before we kind of get into breaking down the, the games and stuff, I'm sure you guys all saw the uh, the report of the whole barber shop. They, everyone's calling it Barber Gate. Now, was that something? Because I've seen people online say, why are all the teammates going to the same barber shop anyway? Now, was that a thing when you guys played? Did you guys all go to the same barber? Like, if you guys found that one guy, would you guys all go to that same shop? Or most Mostly because the, yeah, one, most the one was our guy. And I think the one is still the same guy that's, that's doing, the hair is not, doing the heads now. Okay. As a matter of fact, um, during the, the Kansas City Royals, during their championship years, um, I forgot the guy that we had that had the famous Mohawk. Uh, Hosmer? Yes. So that's where DeWine kind of blew up because he was uh, featured during the uh, World Series of being his barber. And now all of a sudden he's, he's the main barber for, for Mahomes. So he's, he's been doing our heads since way back when, man. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. The one is I got definitely, man. Yep. All of us go to the war, man. Mm -hmm. I can still keep in touch with the one. I just took my yep. son to the AFC Championship game and, and I just talked to him. He's like, Snoop, you better come by and see me before you leave. You know, but, yeah, <laughs> yeah. but that's how I got, man. We all got a cup from the one. And, 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 and to be honest with you, you know, when you, when you kind of look at it, you know, the one, he's the Bob of the Stars. And so everybody trusts the one. He's the one coming to the locker room. I, I, we talking about like it. Look, they run a tight ship over there uh, with the Chiefs. And so when you have a guy that has report, I'm talking about, so he, we, we're thinking, what, about 2000s? Maybe, when was Dewan coming over there? Dewan was coming to probably about 2001, 2002, yeah, maybe? 2001. Yeah. 2001. Right, so we talking about 20 years this man has been doing this. You know what I mean? And, and yeah. look, here's the thing, man, with this COVID thing, man, you just never know. I mean, everybody doesn't really, and they said that he, he tested negative for, what, five of them, five straight. So, it ain't like, you know, this whole, like, this deal with, you know, the, the barber gate and all that. It, to me, it just sounds crazy, man. I, I know DeWan's a great guy. <laughs> I go to Kansas City when I need to get tightened up. That's where I go. That's, that's, yeah. that's what I'm into. So, yeah. you know, the, the, the good thing about it, I'm glad it wasn't, you know, I don't want to say I'm glad. You know, it's so far the guys have all tested negative. It's just the barber that's one that's tested positive. And because of the rules, I guess the guys have to sit out a certain amount of days. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just glad on our end it wasn't, you know, Patrick and, you know, Tariq Hill or Kelsey, some of our bigger playmaker guys that are in that, you know, having to sit out for a certain amount of days. Because uh, they could have easily said, okay, we got, you know, half the team that's going to see this guy and he's positive. Now they got to sit out because of these rules. Yeah. But uh, isn't our backup sitting there, Robinson? Are they good? Robbins, yeah, so I guess he's, they still he's pretty decent. He don't, I mean, he don't get a whole lot of clock. You know, he steps in, he makes big plays for the team. So, uh, no, no, I no, not talking about, no, not talking about good. I'm talking about positive, negative wise, as far as the results. Yeah, I so think they all tested negative. Yeah, so far, all, all negative. Okay, okay, so they're good to go. Yeah, as long as it continues uh, going into Saturday or fr Saturday, the, 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 they should be good. As long as they get negative results going into Saturday, uh, the, the, they're, they're good to go. Okay. E, you ain't got to tell me about my boys. I know about all my boys. Man. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Yeah, I'm talking about... I'm that's talking that's about your the boy, test, too. Them the receivers. You know about that. No, I know about my receivers, man. I'm, I'm talking about the test, baby. <laughs> I guess my bad. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I'm, I'm going to say this. You know, Dewan, uh, uh what he does, man, he, he's, he's so professional what he does. I, I know he was he was on point with everything as far as, like, probably following all the protocols. It ain't like he, he was just being cavalier with his, you know, himself out here and stuff like that. Like I said, you just never know, man. It, it could be, you know, the grocery down the street. It could be the mailman. I mean, you have no idea who it could be. So that's the crazy part of it. 
And I know, you know, like I said, we all know Dewan. We know Dewan's going to be careful, man. He's, he's as professional as you can possibly get. He's been doing it for years. Happily so, married, man, with kids. Yeah, yeah, man, come on. Yeah, so, yeah. So it, it's, it, it has to be something. Just bring up controversy for something like this to happen. But look, the way I look at it, it don't even matter. I don't care who's out. These, these jokers are gonna come down to Tampa and gonna put it on old Brady and them jokers. Put it Already, that way. baby. Yeah. Already. Well, I think people are calling it the uh, Barber Gate, just making making jokes with the with the Brady, you know, Spy Gate. You know, Brady's doing Brady's at it, at it again, doing his own thing. So it's a it's a funny thing people are having fun with. Also, it's uh they said the center right, uh, Daniel Kilgore. Um, he was in the chair when they told him that he came back with a positive test. And so he yeah, made all he got half his hair cut. Yeah, he changed, changed his Twitter profile with the half the half the head. <laughs> um, so they stopped his hair cut. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he, he got up and left after that. They, they played. They so he did. So he did test positive. Dewan. Dewan did. No, no Dewan did. Senator didn't test positive. No, no, no. Okay. So they, they said he, he was in mid cut. It's almost like the you know how the, they used to do with the. Uh, you bring your playbook. Hey, come here. Bring your playbook. You don't want that. <laughs> you, you don't want that, JD. No, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. What, what, what would they do with the playbook? What, what was that? It, it, you don't want to bring your playbook. You that means you out of there, man. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the saddest part of your life. <laughs> that's the saddest, that means you out of there. You going home. <laughs> you don't know what yeah. you're about to do from there. <laughs> Yeah, they, they bring they bring the one guy who who's bearing the bad news, talking about Coach Wood Senior. Lamont, yeah. it was always Lamont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lamont, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Yo, hey, 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 after that last preseason game, you don't want to see Lamont. No, <laughs> you know, because you ain't nothing but bad news, man. You only want to see tell, Lamont. I you tell you this here: if, if you're oh. on the blocks of getting cut, you might as well just go home. Just go straight to your car. Don't even don't, don't even let don't the contact go wait. to shoulder. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, and come back the next day. Exactly. <laughs> you already hey, know what it is. They, they said, man, hey, Coach Mir want to holler at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they said they said the whole day everybody trying to tap out, so everybody do it like with the shoulders, like trying. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, you know? oh, don't, don't touch me today. Don't, uh-uh, don't touch me. For <laughs> real. <laughs> Funny. Now, and, and that's like a, I mean, we see in hard knocks all the time. Where they always talk about that one episode where it's it's the it's the cutting episode. Now, is that one thing where like as soon as you see that uh, whoever approaches you about you know a like coach wants to see you or, or whatever get, get your playbook, is that do some guys just like say, man, I'm out? Do they even go to the meeting or or do they or they or they formality wise they still go to the meeting? And I was I was one of those guys. Uh, I was like, man, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Because I got cut my third year. Um, and, and I was surprised I got cut because my third year, man, I had a great preseason. You know, I was, I was just my second year. I was just coming off an of entry, you know, so I ain't really much played my second year. I only played like a couple of games. So my third year, I was fully healthy, man. I was ready to go. I was so focused. You know, we had brought in Eddie Kennison, Johnny Morton, you know what I'm saying? So I had a lot of competition, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to step my game up, you know, and I, I worked so hard, you know, going to my third year. Um, to be prepared, you know what I'm saying, to get my all and produce. And man, I did that. You know, I was so confident. I was, I was, I was, I was experienced. You know what I'm saying? The game slowed down for me, you know, because you know, I ain't I ain't have to think too much. You know, so my third year, man, listen, bro, ain't nobody was stopping me. You know what I'm saying? That's my that's what my mindset. So right. when I got on that field, I already told my quarterback, you know, at the time it was um Trent Green and Todd um what Todd like? Yeah. Todd Todd Todd. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, just throw it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> and, and that's what it was. You know, so um, my my third my third year of preseason, man, I pretty much I had a great count. Every time they, every time I got on the field, I made a play. You know, the ball came my way, I made a play. You know, and I remember the uh, the last game was um, against the Rams, and I scored a touchdown. And um, they took me off the field. And as soon as I got off the field, I scored a touchdown. Dante Hall came up to me, and was like. I see you Monday, you know what I'm saying? Meaning you made the team, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I never thought about getting cut, you know what I'm saying? You know, I never just yeah. thought that way, you know what I'm saying? I always thought about just balling, you know what I'm saying? Okay, get ready for the season. So when Lamont came to me and told me, like I say, Coach Bill wanted to talk to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they let you go. Now I was shocked and I was surprised, you know what I'm saying? Because I had a great camp and I was so ready 
I knew I was going to have a great third year there. You know what I'm saying? I never got the opportunity, you know, and, and that was disappointing to me. So I didn't really want to talk to Coach Vermeer, you know, but he was like, man, Snoop, you know, Coach Vermeer love you, you know, you know. And then with me, I had a great relationship with Coach Vermeer. I had a great relationship with Coach uh, Miss Carroll, his wife. You know, when I got my concussion my first year, you know, Miss Carroll stayed in the hospital, you know, with me, you know, took care of me, you know. So I got real love for, for Miss Carroll, yeah. you know, and Coach Vermeer. Like, it was real, real love, you know. So as I thought about it, because I was ready to leave it, I was like, I can't leave like that. You know, I got to go talk to Coach. And I went to talk to Coach. It was really emotional, you know what I'm saying? And he said his thing, you know what I'm saying, whatnot. And, and, um, he said to you like you always do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, but yeah, man, I'm glad I went and talked to him before I left, you know. But yeah, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest days there. Eh? Hard day, man. Hard time was tough, man. Now you, I was so mad. I, I didn't even catch a flight home. I just took my stuff and flew on the U-Haul, and I drove. <laughs> 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 I drove a Kansas City to Miami, man, to make it stop in Indiana. <laughs> man, hey, I ain't even know how to hook my escalator up to the U-Haul. I just threw it on there, bro. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy, man. Yeah, but man. You all doing like this for everybody to do that. Wiggling your head, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> That was crazy, man. I tell you what, you know, unfortunately, man, we look, we all done been there before, you know. So I, I done been there twice. So one with Philly, one in, in Kansas City. And so that, that, that conversation is always, well, you, is it hope, right? Is, is it you go up there, you know, hopefully you're talking about a new contract, but, you know, it ain't always what it is, right? And so when you go up there, it's, it's, it's a little somber. They tell you what, you know, you, you voice what you, you know, what you felt like you gave to the organization. They mm -hmm. voice what they felt. And so when it, it boils down to this, man, it NFL is a business. It's a business. You know, sometimes these things that they do is just business decisions. They don't always make it right, but you know, they do what they have to do. They feel like within their their best interest. So yeah, you yeah. do what's in your best yeah. interest too. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I, I was just saying, it's yeah. amazing that, you know, with, with these stories that you guys still have like, this affection and love for, for Kansas City and the, and the Chiefs, you know, and at, at the end of the day, you guys understand that it's a business and you guys get that. I mean, just as a, as a, as a fan seeing that stuff, you know, I, I, that, it would bother me, you know, but I mean, I'm sure it did bother you. Uh, yeah. At, at, at one oh point. yeah. I hated the Chiefs when I got cut. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I hated the Chiefs that first year I got cut. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, I realized like I had way too many, at that time when I was done, I had, I, I developed family amongst that team. Mm -hmm. And I had way too many family members on that team that were still thriving and still, you know, making a career for themselves. So I had to get out of my selfishness and, uh, you know, accept that that's the place that made me who I am. You know, they drafted me and turned me into an NFL player. So I had to swallow my pride and, and uh, you know, and look deep within. And I know the team made a decision that was, for one, financially better off for them. Uh, two, they got, you know, some, some young experienced guys in there. Uh, three, they got an all pro guy with, with Ty Law that came in there and helped. So I understood the move. Man, that's the same with me though, man. I love the Chiefs, man. Like I'm always be the Chiefs fan. You know, I'm always, yeah. you know, uh, root for my boys. You know what I'm saying? Wish the best for them. I'm always support them, you know, but like you say, the relationships, you know, like right now I, I still talk to, um, remember Mike Davidson? Oh yeah. yeah Mike, man. yeah. Oh yeah. I talk to Mike all the time. I just talked to him last week. We always reach out, tell each other we love each other, you know, checking on each other. Like I told you with Dante Hall, mm -hmm. spending time with him, you know what I'm saying? Former teammates, you know, I mean, it was a family environment. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you before, we had real love for each other. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and see, like like what you eat, they brought us into the league. You know what I'm saying? You know, so they always gonna have my heart, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'm always gonna be a chief. You know, yeah. like only thing with me is I wish I could have did more for the city, you know, for the uh, organization, you know, um, for Chiefs Kingdom. You know, um, um, you know, I got a lot of injuries when I played, you know, and that, that was a part of what held me back. You know, not that I yeah. couldn't produce, but the injuries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why that third year when I got released was disappointing because I knew I was going to have a great year, you know. But um, but I'm always going to be rooting for my Chiefs, man. I'm always going to be that supportive. I love Kansas City, bro. Uh and we're going to carry that pride uh, into uh, this weekend for uh, the run of back tour right here. Um, so let's kind of break it down. Uh, let's go to this weekend. So this last two weeks, we've been kind of seeing that um, this kind of goat versus baby goat kind of uh, a matchup that we're going to see this weekend. 
Um, <coughs> I've seen King versus Prince kind of thing. Um, also, that people don't like the whole baby goat aspect. Uh, but, and I've seen a variety of different opinions on this, but who do you think has more pressure on them this weekend? Is it Brady or is it Mahomes? To me, I don't see it being either way. Like, you know, for what Brady's done for his career, uh, you got to – I mean, we all enjoy what he's done and, and uh, how he came from being undrafted until, like, you know, so far right now he's the GOAT. You know, I think everybody can say that, especially for all the accomplishments, accomplishments that he's gotten. Um, and also uh, to put so much added pressure with, was it Brady, was it Belichick? And so now he's gotten there without Belichick. So, and that's not to take anything away from Belichick because Belichick is still a great coach. It just shows you what, what you have in a quarterback at, at Tom Brady and, and the things that he's accomplished. And on the other side of that, you got a young stud over here that's come in and just took the game by surprise in Patrick Mahomes uh, that's doing tremendous numbers every year. You know, nobody expected him to come in and win a Super Bowl this year uh, so soon. And he's done that. He's won an MVP and a Super Bowl. And right now, He's on, he's on the verge of being, um, as my pick, a back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion. So um, I like what he's doing. I think the world is going to enjoy this game for having uh, a tremendous talent because Patrick has, has fans across the world Like he's because they're both great guys. Neither one has done anything off the field to diminish uh, their career. So they're both loved uh, for what they do on the field. So it's just a matter of, who is your team and who are you rooting for? Uh, so there's no fault in either one of not winning because they both deserve it, especially with what Tom has done with his career and what Patrick is now doing with his. Yeah, but what but what you're saying, though, but I want to call it pressure, but I think it's more on, on Mahomes because with Mahomes, with the success he's having right now, it's going to be like the LeBron James and uh, Michael Jordan comparison, okay? It's going to be important for Mahomes because of the amount of Super Bowls that Brady have. He has six, okay? So when Mahomes get to that point, you you get the six and six, you'll get close to six. You know what I'm saying? When you're talking about the greatest, now we're going to compare the head-to-head -head matchup. You know, Brady got Mahomes in the FC Championship. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think it was two to two. You know, but uh, you know, whatever head -head it is. Matchup, I think that, so. Yeah, but th this Super Bowl is going to matter because Brady's going out yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? Brady only have so much time, so Mahomes ain't going to have as many opportunities to go against him again. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I think it's more important for Mahomes to win it than Brady for bragging rights later on in the future for us, the greatest of all time. And that's, that's, a, that's a great point, Snoop. But I'm going to go a different way with it. I'm going to say the, the pressure's probably on time because he is going out the door, right? I mean, that's, that's the one thing, man. Father time, you can't get time back. And so we know it, it, it being at this age, and we're talking about having a team. I mean, he's got all the pieces around him right now to get it done. You know, so it's not going to be out for his arm anymore. It's not going to be off his talent in, in itself, but it's going to be about the guys around him. And he knows, look, I need these guys right here to make it happen. You know, I can't throw, I can't sling the ball down the road, you know, down the field, you know, a ton like I used to in the past. And so he knows that the time, man, I'm, look, father time is, is undefeated. And he realized, man, look, sometimes just getting up in the morning, it's dealing with that, like, look, I'm, I'm 40, what is it, 44 years old, 43? 44. 44. I, think 44. 44. I mean, look, it, it, he wants to play till he's 45. I get it. Sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. So to him, it's all about winning this next championship. To, to Tom Brady, what drives him is making sure that nobody else is in that conversation. And he knows right now, if I don't do this right now, it's not even going to be a chance for somebody else to be in the conversation. He sees Patrick is breathing down his neck. He knows yeah. that. Well, he knows he's got to get this seventh one, right? He, he's been to 10. He's got to get this seventh one to solidify, to say, look, I want to make sure that nobody has a chance to even say anything that I'm not the greatest ever, that I'm not the GOAT. And so when he sees this young dude coming up, you know, this, this, this young gunslinger back here, he knows this guy's got all the time in the world now, right? Tom, Tom been playing for 20 years. This is Patrick's, what, third year? He's got 20. So now he knows he's got 17 years to catch up to everything that he's doing. And he's done and breaking it. So I think the yeah. pressure is more on, on time. I mean, that, that, yeah, that, that's my that's my point. That's my point, though, JD. If Tom win this one with the head to head matchup, it's going to be difficult to call Mahomes the greatest. You know what I'm saying? When he do get to that point, you know what I'm saying? Because of this game right here, you know, well, bringing seven. But see, that's another thing. Like we talked about the coach, not the coaches, but like the quarterback, and we always like put them up against each other. The quarterbacks don't play against each other, so. This, 
my, Patrick can go out and throw for 250 yards, and that 250 is, like, crucial. Like, every other pass is a touchdown. While Brady can go out and throw for 600 yards, and you can say, oh, Tom Brady still had a great game, but they ended up losing. So it's really not a, a matchup. You say, well, the, the quarterbacks did this, did that. I, I like what J.D. was going with it. But on the other hand, like, I feel like Tom is doing because he still loves the game. He loves mm-hmm. the competition, and he loves the game. Tom has nothing to prove to anybody right now. To get six Super Bowl rings, that's kind of it's, – it's unheard of. So this, that's, that's – even though Patrick does have one, Patrick has all the talent in the world. There's nothing to say that the next few years to come after that, even if we do win this year and Patrick has to, that that team is going to continue going in that direction. You know, people are going to get old. You know, contracts won't be able to be fulfilled. You can't hold on to certain guys. Can you fulfill those places that you get that you lose? You know, we've seen our teams fall off. So even with the great talent, I just think Tom is in the position where he's just enjoying himself because he can at the age that he is. And when they put those, when he saw the, the opportunity in Tampa Bay with all those uh, tools that he had, he knew he could go out there and live up to what he thought of himself instead of what people were thinking of him and Belichick together. See, yeah, I, man. The, uh, man, look, I, I'll say this, man. I, I kind of disagree with that, E, for the simple fact that the reason Tom is playing is, is because everybody has counted him out. He has been Mr. Irrelevant. He has never been this top man, quarterback. Tom's got right? six rings. He's got six rings, but that, that's what fuels him. What fuels him is everybody's still counting him out. You think he? You think he's eating avocado ice cream because he enjoys it? He's doing it because he wants to make sure that he's the best that's ever done it. And it's always these people behind him that's sitting there. Avocado you know, ice cream is good. Well, I, I, it, it could be. I don't know. I guess you got to have an acquired taste. I love avocados. I don't know if I can't do an avocado ice cream. But, I, but I'm, I'm telling you, I think it's, it's, it's the failure that, that drives him. I, it really is. I think it's like year in, year out, it's the same thing. Well, you can't do it without Belichick, right? Let me go show you. I'm going to go show you I can do it without Belichick. So it's always that challenge. Always counting him out. Oh, he ain't got it no more. Well, let me go show everybody I still have it. And so every time he's looking at these goals, he's achieving you know, so to him, it's always been a competition, right? That, that's See, what I look at Tom Brady. Win, JD. I, 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 I guarantee he doesn't need the money. His wife is making more no, money than he is. And so the money is not, is not the problem. Yeah, but dude loves the competition. He, he loves the competition, and, he, and he's enjoying himself. Well, we, I'll say yes. Sometimes we look at billionaires, right? Money, it, it, there's never enough money. Just never enough. And so they always, it's always that drive of just the competition to get more money, get more yachts, get more mansions. It's always that. It's like, look, you don't need no more money. What do you, what do you need more money for? And it's always that, like, I have to do it because this is who I am. This is always driving me, you know, because I got to remain at the top. I always got to be that guy, you know? So it's just that, it's just that, win, it's that, it's that winner's mentality, JD. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. You don't need more. It's just that you just have that mentality to be the best. You want more. You know what I'm saying? You know, if it's more out there, if it's another level that you can get to, we want it. And especially when somebody tells you that you can't. You know that's what I'm saying? Right. That's just the mindset. And that's why we built the way we are. And that's why we accomplished the success that we accomplished. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think to, uh, to this conversation, our, our next question was also in the same kind of direction. Uh, so this week, Tony Romo was talking about this matchup because he's, he's going to be calling the game on Sunday. And he said that if, if Mahomes doesn't win this week, He's not going to catch Brady. It's done. Brady. Brady's going to have the most Super Bowl rings ever, and that's it. Do you guys agree if Mahomes uh, – I mean, I know it's tough to get to one Super Bowl, right? Rodgers got to that Super Bowl. Everyone's like, oh, here we come. Another dynasty's coming. He hasn't been back to one since, and he was this new found talent at, the, at that time. But do you guys agree that Mahomes won't catch Brady if Mahomes doesn't win this weekend? I don't know. I can't foresee the future. I hope he can, Just and I hope he can, I hope he can do it with the Chiefs. Um uh, I said, that's that's a feat that's unlike any other man to win six Super Bowls. This is like the whole thing with, you know, uh, what's my man that, that played with the Celtics that's got 11 rings? You um, know, um, Bill Russell. You know, th- those are those are feats that, that you know, will probably never be, be caught up. So uh, six rings is a lot. You know, I hope he can get it. I don't know. It, it, look, I, I, I think he could. And that's what I was talking about. I'm just looking at the, the 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 span in between, right? So we're talking about 17 years that he has to achieve this. Can he get six Super Bowls in 17 years? Absolutely. If he has, with, with his arm and the guys around him, if you keep the core group of guys that he has, 
kind of, you know, in, in the same ranks what, what you need, get a good defense around him. There's nothing that, that Patrick Mahomes can't do. We've we done seen his, his three years that he's been playing, what he's been able to achieve. So Tony Romo, of course, is like, I ain't going to be able to catch him. Man, he got 17 years. He's 25 years old. He's 25. So not, he, not taking anything from it. And I hate making the comparison, but I always do. I, when I compare it to the Chiefs, I always go to the Golden State Warriors. That dynasty came. They still have great talent. And, but you never know what kind of injuries you're going to have. Even though you still got a star player, that star player is going to be Patrick Mahomes, as it is with Steph Curry. You still got a great team that you can always look forward to making to the playoffs and potentially even winning the championship. But unless all your pieces are still there, you know, it's going to be crucial to where that, that, where that, that, uh, that team goes. Yeah, E, but barring injuries, man, I agree with JD. He can do it. You know what I'm saying? With that, he's That's really what I'm saying. But barring injuries, and you got to keep the right guys team-wise yeah, but in, I don't, in, in place. I don't think that you need to keep the right – well, I'll give you the right guys, you know what I'm saying? But with his arm talent and his skill set, okay, just get me a, a decent, a good receiver. You know what I'm saying? You got to be great. You can be good. You know what I'm saying? Give me a good tight end. You know what I'm saying? And keep that chemistry going. You know, with the time span, he's 25 years old right now. You know what I'm saying? Tom Brady's 44. You know, like J.D. say, 17 years in that span. Keep it Andy Reid. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going to happen with Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? I think it could be done. You know, we have one now. He win this one, too. We talking about four more in 17 years. Definitely, I'm not trying to sound, sound uh, pessimistic. I hope we can do it. I, like I said, I pray and hope we can. But just being a realist, I, it's, it's hard to see, you know, him reaching the top of that mountain like that. I hope he can. I really do. But, but he will. And, yeah, and, 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 that's, and that's what you have to do, right, Snoop? And, and, and he, go get guys that, that's going to be able to go with his talent, right? That, 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 that definitely could collaborate with him. Get a defense around him, too. And I think sometimes we see teams all the time, right? They talk about Aaron Rodgers, Matthew Stafford, all these, uh, Deshaun Watson. Well, they ain't built teams up around them. Exactly. They start taking pieces away from these guys to be able to do it. And so when these guys are sitting there like, man, what are you doing? Are you even trying to invest in championships? You know, getting the right pieces around me? Yeah. That's part of yeah. the problem. Look, and I, I, look I, I watched one of the best to ever do it. I watched Barry Sanders come in and absolutely just rip up defenses. It didn't matter how many guys was out there to try to tackle him. And they had Tabway out there to try to tackle him. They couldn't do it. But they wouldn't try and build nobody around uh, Barry Sanders either to give him a championship. Yeah. And that was a problem. We had somebody who was probably the, the one of the greatest running backs to ever play the game, retired early because, uh, you know, they didn't decide yeah. to get nobody around and that's, and that's the thing, like you say, um, Beach, Brent Beach, he's all in. He's all in. We're winning championship. He's all in. We're getting the guys we need to win Super Bowl. That's all the mindset is. You know what I'm saying? And he's stay on that path. You know what I'm saying? With Mahomes, he's easily built around, bro. You know what I'm saying? I see, I see Mahomes getting six, seven Super Bowls. I see it. My only, my only, my only thing is the comparison with Brady. Okay, once he do get to that six, seven Super Bowl, okay, now we compare him to goats. Now that head to head match this year is going to matter. It's going to come into effect. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I think it's important for Mahomes to win this game. Let, let, let me ask this quick question. Y'all think that was like a, a, a kind of a shade, slow hate on uh, Patch Mahomes by Romo? What do you think? I don't know, because I've watched a lot of games that Romo has called with Kansas City. And he's, he's, a, he's a Patrick fan. He's a Mahomes fan. Mm -hmm. um, so I can't say it was a slight hate on him. Uh, I mean, Romo sees the talent. Romo sees the star, you know, the star in him. So I, I don't, I'm, I can't say I, if there is, it could be a slight shade, but I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen it throughout the season. All right. I, I would just ask, and I, I just, cause for, for me, I was just like, but well, why would he say that? Why would he just say, you know, because I know he wants Brady to win this one, I'm sure. You know, of course, he, they probably have a better relationship than him and Patrick. But sometimes it's always that new guy coming in. It's like, oh, man, this guy, maybe not that good. Right, it's just yeah. it's just that, that that slight whatever, but I don't know. It, maybe, it could know. be, but man, listen, man, Pat is the man. I love me some Patrick Mahomes. Oh yeah, all right? everybody always talk about don't bet against Brady, don't bet against Mahomes. Right. All right, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So yeah, but hey, I'm looking forward to it. Man, I'm excited, man. I'm so I'm so happy for the organization. I'm so happy to see the success we're having, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, yeah man, and especially to see us. Um, win that AFC championship, not this year, but last year, you know what I'm saying? For, you know, Lamar Hunt, you know, I mean, it was just, it was just special, man, you know, and, and, and it's great to see. Yeah, it's, it's the future is bright, baby.
Yeah, the future, the future is bright. And I, what you guys are saying, I, I hope we can get to five, six uh, Super Bowls, and I hope we win all of them. Um, I mean, j- just to think about that, you know, um, and, and, and like guys like Rodgers, Drew Brees, they only have one Super Bowl. So already Patrick's already leapfrogging them by getting to the second Super Bowl. And if he wins, he's already in a different class. He's, he's, he's got two rings where the guys like that, you know, only, only had one ring to show for it. Um, but to, to the whole thing about Romo, uh, JD, I have noticed that people who aren't Chiefs or Buccaneers fans, especially mm-hmm. the older crowd, I think people are seeing Brady as this underdog, like this older guy. Oh, I'm rooting for the underdog. I'm rooting for the, the, old, the, the old guy to win this one. I feel like that's, <laughs> that, that's kind of the, the thinking between people who aren't Chiefs or um, Buccaneers fans this weekend. Do you kind of see that as well? Yeah, I mean, it, look, it, look I, I'm, I'm a, I've always been a Joe Montana fan. You know what I'm saying? So my, my the nostalgia was always like, man, is Tom really better than Joe? Right? So it was always, I, I love the 49ers back then. You know what I mean? So it was always kind of like that. Ah, oh, man, Tom ain't really all that great. He ain't all that good. It's always the people around him. And this is, but look, I, I recognize Tom for what it is, right? I can't take nothing away from Tom, uh, you know, but I'm always going to still have that, that, that affinity for Montana. Joe Montana. You know what I mean? I always going to be like, look, Joe's my guy. I love Tom, but if I need to bring Joe in, <laughs> hey, I'm going to bring Joe in. So it's kind of it's kind of hard letting the new guys in though. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you do. especially when you grew up on it. <laughs> right, you know right. what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. You know, like even when yeah, that's, that's the, the whole way, thing you know, with like, LeBron. Oh, and, in my mind, before t- the, Joe Montana always was the goat. You know what I'm saying? Right, but now, right. you know, with the accomplishments of Brady, it's kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Not right. Put, put them there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, with that old school mentality and us growing up on them, it's hard to let the new guy. You know what I'm saying? And see them. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> what would you say? E? You, you, I, that's the whole thing with uh LeBron and, and uh MJ, like all these young cats. Oh, yeah. oh, and you yeah. know, I take yeah. nothing from LeBron, LeBron's great, LeBron's an excellent talent. Mm-hmm. But just my my overall opinion from what I've seen, uh, Michael Jordan doing how he transformed the game, like that's that, that's my go. Yeah, see, and when I talk to my older brothers, man, you ain't never seen Oscar Robinson. Oh, shoot, yeah, you ain't seen nobody play. <laughs> Shoot. They would do it. Hey, hey, they would do that back. I was scrambling doing that no. back in 67. He was doing that in 67 when Jordan was doing. Come on, man. He <laughs> wasn't born, man. <laughs> 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 oh, we ain't seen no Oscar Robinson. We wasn't born. We heard about it. I ain't never seen Bill Russell play. Exactly. Say, we man. know he got eleven championships. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You man, you seen Bill Russell? Oh man, Bill. Yeah. Man, it's, 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 it's different when you actually watched it live. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Like we watched Jordan live and watched right. that dominance live. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When when hand checking was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. know, the rules were different. You know. So that's why you're more biased towards it, you know, because it was different. And Joy was just dominating the greats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. know, you had the Dr. J's, the Magic, the whole now. I don't care if they were getting older. You know what I'm saying? They they mm-hmm. still was they still was elite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And to see the things he was doing, man, come on, bro. You know, mm-hmm. it's hey, Hey, and, they, and they won champions championships either. They were putting together an all-star team to win championships. That's my point. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but I love they LeBron though, too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The super teams didn't exist back then. No. Wherever you were drafted, I mean, that, that was pretty much it. And I think that we, we talked on the show about social media. I think the social media has kind of changed that as the aspect where guys can go link up with their friends or connections and stuff just by you know a DM on Twitter can get can get you uh, a super team nowadays. So. Ain't kidding. For real. <laughs> That's for real. Uh, so okay, so going into uh, this weekend, what are some of the uh, your biggest concerns? Well, Eric, what are you, what are you looking for this weekend? What's your biggest concern? Uh, going into uh, Sunday. Hey, to be honest, as long as our secondary is well tuned, I think the front seven of ours will play well enough to put enough pressure on Tom. And when Tom gets happy feet, Tom tend to throw that thing away. And so we, you know, he, he's thrown quite a few interceptions this year. If we can keep him on track to throwing throwing them things away, I, I think we can get away with a with an easy win. If not, and you give him time to pick you apart, you know, a couple of slants, a couple of slants, and inch deep. That's what he's known for. So if we, our, our, if our secondary can just stay disciplined the way we did, you know, the last game against Buffalo, I thought they played an excellent game, and, and keep these guys bottled up, um, we we can come out with an easy win. I, I just think that we have way too much power on offense uh, to where we really can't be stopped. Uh, maybe maintain for a while, but not you can't stop us. Uh, but lo- as long as our secondary holds up, I think we can go out and get an easy victory. Yeah, I agree. Um, I want to say it's a concern for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like 
he's safe. You know what I'm saying? The cornerbacks got to stay disciplined. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get drives. All right? My thing is don't break. You know, being but yep. don't break. You know what I'm saying? My thing is holding them to three, you know, as much as possible. As um, far as our offense, you know, us being without Schwartz, us being without Fisher, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a, a challenge, but I think Andy Reid now is going to adjust to that, you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to bring pressure. I think we're going to run more screens, you know, whatnot. I think they're going to try to double Tyreek a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think we're going to score quick, as quick as we do. I think it's going to take us a little bit more time, but we're still going to move the ball and, and get into the paint, you know what I'm saying? So it's just going to take us a little bit more time. You know, so I don't really have a concern. I think we still gonna score points like we normally do. Just gonna take you more time. You gotta understand, like Tariq Hill put up two hundred yards in one quarter on, on Tampa last time we played. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be they're gonna be real concerned about what he's doing, which gives those other guys opportunity to go out there and make big plays. You know, that's, Kelsey that's, Kelsey's a proven guy. Kelsey's all pro, so he's gonna do his thing no matter what too. So we just have so much, so many openings right now with offensively um, to where we can. I, I know Snoop says he don't think we, it'll be easy. I just think it'll be easy enough for us. I don't think that their defensive line is fast enough uh, if Patrick is out of the pocket to add that extra pressure to make him throw it away either. I mean, they got some great guys up front, you know, Sue, uh, JPP, and Barrett. Uh, great offensive line, great front seven. I just don't think they have the speed uh, as far as, like, when you get Patrick out of the pocket, he's almost more deadly outside than he is inside the pocket. Yeah. I agree. I agree. All right, that's why I said it's gonna take us a little bit more time to score because they're gonna they're gonna keep everything over the top this game. They're not gonna sure. make us beat, um, beat them. Um, let them be, let us beat them deep. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna make us uh, uh, get everything in, in, in short, short um, <laughs> for yardage. So that's why I said it's gonna take us a little bit more time to score. You know what I'm saying? But we're not gonna have a problem getting into the paint because, so, like you said, once Pat once Pat get out of that pocket, you know what I'm saying? He can still throw the ball. You know what I'm saying? He can throw. He can run. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be hard for us. It's hard for them yeah. to stop it. So, so my my big, biggest concern, without a doubt, is the offensive line, and and it's 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 holding up against these guys who have gotten better since we played them. I mean, mm -hmm. without a doubt. They, they, I mean, the pass rush, you know, uh, uh, Pierre Paul, Sue, uh, Sakil, Golson. I mean, they they got some they got some boys on the other side, man. They just come after the football, and then you put into the mix. Ty Bowles, what he does defensively, as, as far as like, you know, bringing some pressure, you know, uh, uh, knowing, uh, running different combinations. And so they got a really fast deep, and, and he said they're not fast, but I, I think they're fast. You, you, the best thing they do is put their they, they hand in the ground, they come out the football. So okay. one thing they're going to make sure Patrick will get on the outside, and they're going to bring somebody up the middle to bring pressure on the inside too. Yeah. So Pat can get out running. Now, the main thing, and, and this is why it's so important when, you, when you're talking about offensive line. There's no other, I would say, positions that need to be on the same accord like offense alignment. Yeah. And when you start doing things, offense alignment haven't really been in there before. I mean, it throws the absolute timing off. And it, and, 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 and just in your head, if you give up a sack, you're like, dang, God, now I got to sit back. Now, all of a sudden, the guy, he's coming at you. Well, he's he, he's almost got your defensive end. At the, you know, he gets a sack. Because then you got to sit outside. Now he comes inside. And so it's just a mind game. And so these guys haven't really been in before that that are starting now, and then getting you got the left guard that moved over to the left tackle. Yeah, it's different from the inside to the outside in that space. That's totally different. That's just like you e playing out there on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's like taking a safety, putting him out there on the corner, who hadn't really played. You know, you, you got support, but if you ain't got the support, and you're the only one out there on that island. Man, that's a tough business, man. That's tough yeah, to eat yeah. out there. And I so think Andy's. And he's going to be prepared for that, though, J.D. That's why I say that, that that's a little bit of my concern, but it's yeah. not a concern because of our coach, you know, and our opposite coordinator. I think hey, they're yes. going to be prepared for that. So the screens, you know what I'm saying, running back, you know what I'm saying, um, coming up the middle of the field, you know, stuff like that, you know. Hey, listen, listen my brother. I, I, look, the coaches can prepare all they want to, right? Mm -hmm. But they can't make your feet faster. <laughs> they, they can't make hey. you punch harder. And so that's, that's part of my problem. You know, these guys going to get out on the screen, too. So I'm, I'm just using this as, as an area of concern, right? And that's just what I'm saying. So even, yeah, look, and, and how we're talking, you know, because we're football guys, they, they're saying the same thing. Look, we, we know they're going to throw screens, right? Mm -hmm. We know they're going to try to get up to the middle. You know what's going to be key for us? If we could get our running game going, that's going to hurt Tampa. That's what we need. If that running game get going, I don't care what it is. If, if, if you just think that he's going to sit back there and pass all the time, 
man, get that running game going. All right. Let CEH let him eat. I think uh what's the name? Le'Veon, man. Look, I've been asking the CCA got to Kansas City, man. Come on. <laughs> this is your week. Well, yeah, Le'Veon. This is your time, man. Yeah, he, he on the roster. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but Williams fit this Williams fit. Williams too. I'm, yeah, I'm a, right. You know what I'm saying? So I mean I love Le'Veon. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Maybe I'm a more patient back. You know what I'm saying? See the whole didn't explode. Right. We more we need quick reactions, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. And William Williams does that for us. So I want to see Williams more than Lady Beyond. And um is Clyde playing? Clyde's good, right? Yeah. Clyde's good. Okay. Clyde's good. And, and, and Snoop, the reason I'm saying that is because I've been asked for Lady Beyond since he got over Kansas City to get it, you know. I, you. I, mean, I, was, I was I was excited when we signed him, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, once yeah. he got there and I saw how he was in our in our scheme and our system. You know, I prefer to see more Williamson and Clyde. You know True. what I'm saying? Not, that's not a knock on Le'Veon. Right, right, right. No. Le'Veon, Le'Veon's a real deal. Don't get me wrong now. It's just no. for what we do. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. I think uh, 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 we, our offense worked better with, with Williamson um, and Clyde. And, and yeah, I, think, I mean, plus, we didn't, we weren't, it wasn't like we was playing Le'Veon, paying Le'Veon a whole lot. He was still, he's still getting paid by the Jets. Yeah. Right. I think right. we just gave him like an extra million dollars just, you know, probably get him a, a, a new ghost or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, he, he no. was a, it was it was a you know it's a no brainer not to bring him in. Right, right, right. No, it was, and, I, and I thought that we thought that we could work with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, he, yeah. He, he gave us some he gave us some chunk yards during the season. But yeah, like exactly, I said, exactly you know, for game. what we do, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that he's a good fit. You know, for what we do. Right. You know? No, I, look, I, I agree with you. Yeah, Williams, without a doubt, man, he's earned it. I mean, he, he's a hard runner. I, I, I like him. He's he's a workhorse. So mm-hmm. those are my concerns. And, and, and I, I'm gonna say this. As far as defensively, defensively, nobody really is talking about the Chiefs' defense. They're not. They talking about everything else. What, what Tampa Bay is giving Tampa Bay's defense, and they match up really, really well. And I think they really downplaying the Chiefs' defense. And I, and I think the Chiefs are really relishing it. That like you know, keep 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 thinking that. Keep underdogging us. If you look over the games that we've played and people we've been putting up against, they've done a really good job against all <laughs> the past few weeks. You know, I mean, they shut Buffalo down, right? I mean, I mean, for real. And so I'm looking at this week, same thing. Bring pressure. Spro's gonna have some for Brady. So, but that's my concern at offensive line, right? So yeah. Get it done. Spro yeah. do a great job with his uh, listening. Like I told you, you know, don't bend but don't break. And that's why our defense yeah. do a good job of. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that mm-hmm. that's why I love. And, and our defense are so smart. You know what I'm saying? Especially Tyron. You know, the plays that guy make, you know what I'm saying? Like, he come off his man, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. See, like, he played against Buffalo, man. That's that's smart, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of film study, Ooh. you know? Oh, and I, trust I, me, we got we had two weeks. Some boys going to be prepared. We're going to be ready. Yeah, okay. I had this on, too, uh, for the for also, too, the concern. Is there a running game in Tampa Bay? You can't let Fournette and, and Jones get the No, we can't let them get, them get off. Look, look, yeah, don't let them go on. Can't don't, let them get yeah. off. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Can't let them, yeah, yeah. That, that's gonna throw us off. That's gonna throw us off. Mm-hmm. And I think a big key um, is somebody who's gone against Brady. I know we talk about Mahomes, Brady, Mahomes, Brady, but Spagnuolo's been that one guy, that one kryptonite of. Um, I know you know it's, it's his scheme and stuff, but he's been one kryptonite of Brady through the years, going back to his Giants days. So if anybody, we had a proper guy to cook something up against Brady in a big game. So I, I, I think uh, I, I like I like having Spagnuolo in, in our corner. Uh, this weekend against uh, Brady. Big time. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so last year's Super Bowl is our next concern. We had an X factor, da- Damian Williams. No one saw that coming from him in, in that Super Bowl game, especially against the Niners, you know, all world defense that everyone made it out to be. He comes on scene and he has uh, 120 plus yards, could have been the MVP, um, had a, a legitimate case for it. But outside of Patrick Mahomes this weekend, Who's the one guy you could see being a Damian Williams type to come up, whether it's on defense or offense? The kind of the unsung hero that we're not expecting this weekend. Who's the one guy you're looking at to be that Damian Williams? To me, it's either uh, if you go defense, I'm going to go with Tyron Matthew. And if you go with somebody other than Patrick on offense, um, I'd have to go with Kelsey. But again, it's going to be, you know, Patrick throwing the ball to Kelsey, you know. Um, So. If anybody else can pull out an MVP award, it'd be Kelsey or uh, or Tyron Matthew. Yeah, me, or me, it'd be Kelsey as well. You know what I mean? I want to say he's a unstone hero. <laughs> you know, it's Kelsey. You know, but on the offense, Kelsey, and on defense, I would say Clark. You know, um, because we're going to need pressure. We put pressure on Brady. You know what I'm saying? I like our chances even more. 
You know, so on defense clock, offense Kelsey. But pr- pressure on um, Brady's would be huge. Yeah. We need our D- we need our DNs to step up. Wow. Whew. Let me see. X factor defensively. I, I I had to say probably Clark as well. All right, or Sorson, right? Sorson, we haven't brought his name up either. I think he might have to, you know, come in and just be an extra guy that's going to, you know, he, he does things that, that other guys are just not doing, right? Knocking the ball loose, making the right tackle, being in the right place when he needs to be. So Sorensen, offensively, I'll say yes, because we know Kelsey and, and uh, Tyreek's going to eat. I'm going to say yes. I think CEH is going to come in, man. He's going to do a little bit. I think he's going he's gonna to cause some noise, right? And it's, it's been a while. He, he's yeah. been hurt, but I, he, I don't he, think he people the game plan against him. Right, yeah. So I think now he he, he might be uh, reinvigorated a little bit. Like, okay, let me come in. Let me eat a little bit. You know, so this might be his game. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Because that definitely going to slow the defense, these defensive line down for Tampa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and would you say? Um, I know they always say this um, when when you have new O linemen coming to the game, establishing the run, get, get getting the the offensive line kind of comfortable with with, with, with hitting. Is that kind of what, what you expect that early uh, early on, JD? Man, do do what you do best, right? And so offensive linemen is always running the football. It's getting behind the cleats and running the ball. And so when you know their strength is pass rush, take away their strength. So you run the football, hit them in their mouth. Pass rushes hate to get you know engaged with. So let me go ahead and just lay on you right now. And, and, and what you do that in, in, in very early on in the game, second half, you take it out of them. You take that pass rush out of them. They ain't got that energy anymore. Hit them in the mouth. It's just simple, right? Hit them straight in the mouth. So they get, you know, they got two all pro uh, linebackers back there too now. So yeah, Levante, Levante, Levante is my guy. You know, that's a Nebraska dude. So I'm gonna give him props. Uh, him and Sue are both Nebraska guys. So I'm, you know, uh, right. hoping that they play well. But obviously, I'm hoping that they lose. Uh, so. I, Levante is really good, and as far as running game, that's 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 his strong that's his strong point. Uh, I just think what we do best is, is picking teams apart with our passing game, whether that's short yards or long yards. Because well, we got guys, you know, really we got two that are unstoppable in Tariq Hill and Kelsey. Well, with those two playing the way that they play, the others just fall in and make big plays coming along. Levante, well, Levante, yeah. my guy too. He, he went to Northwestern, my high school. Okay, you know, okay. Like, wow. I want to stay there and that's the championship, but I don't hope he do well this game. I'm sorry, I don't know. We can wait till next season, but not hey. this game. Hey, look, get get the running backs into the second level, right? As much as you can, but also too, you got to be in like you know second and short, third and short, you know. So don't don't put them in a situation where it's always like third and long. Third, you don't want to do that, you know. Short, you know, at least you know the downs up for you. So, you know, things are, you know, able to keep moving the chains. And time well, I, I, don't want them to, I don't want them to get away from the running game. I, I definitely don't want that. I just yeah. want them to stick to whatever game plans that they have going into each and every game throughout that season, that we, this this season we just played. I, I love the a lot of the play calling. I, I wasn't – I didn't agree with a lot of the red zone stuff because we weren't able to capitalize on it throughout the beginning of the season. But here later on in the season, I thought we played – we stepped up and played really well. Uh, we we call some some of the most craziest offensive plays I've ever seen in a playbook, but we got the talent to make it work. And so if they feel like we got certain plays within that playbook that they want to call and, and have us win this game, I'm all for it. You know, whether that's taken away from the running game or not, I'm confident in what that offense uh, uh, coaches uh, crew can do. Yeah. And, and one of the games where we did have the like kind of red zone struggles was – was the Tampa game? Remember, I remember that first uh, first drive. We kind of, I think we got a field goal in that drive. It was when uh, we put Kelsey at quarterback and he threw a little out route to uh, Mahomes. I got like, batted down. Yep. So that yeah. was one of the, you know the, those unique plays that we like running. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. And also that game, I remember we talked about the uh, the Hardman uh, touchdown. Remember where uh, where Mahomes missed him and he was wide open down the seam. Yep. I yeah, mean, there's a lot of points we 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 we, we kind of left on the field. Yeah, we could have we could have blew we could have blew that game out. Yeah, well, if, if if he hit on that, it was over. Yeah, yeah. but we also kind of talked like how we, uh, it's almost like we take the foot off the gas in the, in the you know fourth quarter yeah. because we're up so much. Yeah, it's just they, and they so confident in themselves, but they know they can do oh, it yeah. anytime. You know what I'm saying? But we can't have that mentality. No. That's what it, it was up by 17 going in the fourth quarter, wasn't it? We was up yeah. by 17, and that's when Pat missed them on the um the scene route. Yeah. 
So, so hopefully it doesn't happen this weekend. Which you, which you rarely do. <laughs> All right. What happened? Yeah. All right, uh, so before we get into the predictions, as uh, the fun part, I know we, we talked about this for Thanksgiving, and uh, Super Bowl Sunday is one of, the, one of those days where, you know, like Thanksgiving, where you can sit down, you can eat and feast all day, um, you know, to watch the games. I'll be kind of nervous. I'm sure you guys will be nervous during the game, so I, I can't really eat during the game, but before before the game, I can get my eat on. Um, what What's your go-to appetizer meal for uh, Super Bowl Sunday, starting with you, J.D.? I got, I got a feeling you got, you got, you got some good grub over there. <laughs> oh man. Uh, look, I, I'm always, you know, I'm, I'm a big, you know, fruit and vegetable guy, but also two wings, man. I, I got to have wings. Yeah, wings. wings. wings <laughs> yeah. Wings is a staple here. So <laughs> I, I tell you what, my, my, my cousin, man, he, he owns a, a restaurant and he, he, he puts wings and stuff together with some brisket. Woo! It's, it's mm. good to go. We're good to go. So he's going to bring a batch over, man. So wings is, yeah, that's, that's the deal for me. I like mine's, my, mine's very, you know, like sometimes I do ribs, um, um, baked beans and cornbread. Well, I'm on the grill, I do steak, you know what I'm saying? Um, but me and my son, we have a tradition, all right? Every Chiefs game, we have to get steamed crabs. I don't know why, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but that's what he wants. So I got to go to Publix every, every Chiefs game and get steamed crabs. So that's our tradition with me and my son. We eat steamed crabs. You make sure you'll get them crabs in. I'm going to say, make it a whole, <laughs> a whole batch of them. I do. I, hey, I get, I get four pounds, bro. We go in. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh <okay. laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's your tradition too. Oh man! <laughs> there we go. Me and E, we got the crowd, baby. That's my right. dinner. That's why we winning. Me and E, we on the crowd before the game. Right. Good luck, y'all. Hey, make sure you eat the crowd, E, on Sunday. All right. right? <laughs> I'm gonna have mine. That's hilarious. That's good prop well, right you there. Right, you right on point with that, E. <laughs> Hey, that's, I like, that up, you know? <laughs> that's like it looked like it was grabbing you, E. True. Yeah. <laughs> well, what yours is, E? Huh? What is yours? I Besides got the blue crabs. Yeah, that's the big blue ones, but they, they, you know, you put them in all that sauce, man. Big boys, big ones. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, we don't do all that. We just do the snow crab. We do the lid. I ain't got okay. time to be playing. No, that's too much work. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that, is that your get my meat for Sunday? No, um, that's my dinner. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, but you got to eat that on Sunday, homie. <laughs> oh, I can go get a new batch. Yeah, do that. So w- w- what's your appetizer for Sunday, E? Oh, I love wings. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a wings guy. Um, you can give me wings almost six, seven days a week. And I'll be all right. <laughs> Bone in or boneless? Bone in. See, I, I don't consider. E, don't you bon- say I don't bon- consider boneless a wing. That's just a nut. Exactly. I'll go say, man. Yeah. Sure, no, don't go. you do that. Yeah. That's a chicken nugget. Yeah, it is. Exactly. Right. right. Oh, a chicken, chicken strip. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 that's what them young boys are eating right now. You know, <laughs> yeah. Bone in. I'm like, ain't no other way. Bone in. Yeah. Way. Yeah. You know, wing, yeah. Man, I never bone. heard that before. I'm like, wow. what type of wing you want? I, I go to wing stop. They ask me what I want, bone in, bone out. What you mean, bone in, bone out? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yeah. And, and wing, wings are a solid because you, you, you can have you, you can have a bunch throughout throughout the throughout the you can extend it throughout the games and stuff throughout the day and make it a, oh, a yeah. full on activity. So yeah. But man, I gotta eat before the game. I'd be so nervous, man. I'd be yeah. so nervous. I'd, I'd be like, I'd be playing, man. I'm telling you, man. People know, don't talk to me. Once the chief's playing, do not talk to me. Don't call my phone. Don't text me. Nothing. Get around me. You know, I I don't want to hear nothing. You know, like, I got my little tradition where I got to sit in a certain seat. You know what I'm saying? I don't move. Hey, man. I'll be into it, bro. Keep it that way. Oh, I, I do for years. Now, I have a so so let's say let's say we win on Sunday. Do you do you guys because you guys play for the team? Do you guys still get the uh? Do they, do they send like former players like the gear, like the Super Bowl champion gear. Do you guys get that stuff? I, I, unless they, they they give you a, a you can purchase it. They don't. Have a- <laughs> they, they don't they, you guys don't get a special like send out. They don't, they don't send you guys like a box of like the gear and stuff. No, thirty percent off. You get thirty percent off. <laughs> 
<laughs> you get thirty percent off at the at the chief store. Right, but yeah. if you want, if you want, if you if you want something, you know, you can you can talk to Alan or somebody. You know, they they yeah. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta you know, go. Like 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 I will. Yeah, like Mike, they they just hand me stuff. You know, give me stuff if I want it. So if you want something, you can reach out. They'll get you. Mm-hmm. But mo- but most of the time, like JD say, thirty percent off. <laughs> you know, gonna, gonna come out your pocket. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I went there. I went there one time for uh, uh, for a game, and uh, I went to the little shop. And got you know a lot of gear and stuff like that. So of course, I'm bringing bring my kids. Like yeah, bring it on up here. So I'm just like so. Uh, so how does this work? She's like, uh, what do you mean? I'm, she's like, uh, you hand me your credit card, and you know you can get the get the gear. I mean, well, I used to be a former player. Oh uh, well, uh, let me see. I think I'll get thirty percent off. I'm like, you want to get nothing in here for free? She's like, nah. Nope. <laughs> Nah, you better you better circle around to the oh, line yeah. and, and get the team issue gear. That's my yeah, yeah. Well, well, I start telling my kids, I'm like, well, we can't get that. Put that back. Put that. Back. <laughs> <laughs> they came in with big old back. I'm like, hey man, we look. It, hey, and it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. It ain't no, it ain't cheap stuff. <laughs> yeah, but you don't mind supporting. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, no, that's right. Right. for the team. Yeah, got all got all my teams here back there. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of stuff. This right here, thirty percent off, and I got some stuff that that the team gave me in the closet. You, you know, see, right I, here? I, I support my chief to the bus side, baby. All right, so, yeah. Yeah. it don't matter how much it costs. I'm well, gonna say they didn't send this to me, Snoop. I, I get this sent to me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like what they did? <laughs> You're looking good, yeah, baby. Looking good, yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, JD, you still looking the same, man. I ain't see, I ain't see you since I left. I know. I ain't see you since 2003, bro. Man, it's been a long snoop up there. I thought it was that long, bro. Wow. That time go fast, man. Yeah, it sure do. Yeah, you you, you got to get down here to Miami. Come chill with me, man. Man, I might look. Don't take come down here and see me all the time, man. Is that right, here, man? Huh? You play golf? No, nah, you know I got the spine injury, so I can't I can't do go. Uh, you know that's why I retire. I got a spine injury. Yeah, but I can go watch. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I can watch. Let's do it. Let's All do right. it. So before, before we go, before we do the uh, the, the, the tweets, the, the last segment, we got the, uh, the game prediction, which actually I got to give props to Jason. Jason uh, from day one of this show has said Buccaneers, Chiefs, even after the Buccaneers started to sputter off at mid- midway through the season, Jason Who stuck. Who did I pick? I think – didn't you? Was it Saints? What was it? Saints Chiefs? Either Saints or Aaron Rodgers. Do you have Green Bay? Who was it? Damn, I don't know. Either okay, it's, it's all irrelevant. It now, don't so. matter. They ain't there. <laughs> <laughs> so JD, since you had the uh, since you, you you picked this matchup, I'm gonna let you go first. What's your uh, prediction and, and um, what's the score prediction? Okay, so my prediction for this game, I'm looking at just how things have 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 been going. And I think the Chiefs, the very first game, they did a, a really good job. I'm sitting there, I'm thinking it's going to be 21 to 28 Chiefs by a touchdown. So that, that's what I'm looking at. I, I, I did have them uh, beating Tampa Bay by 10, but I'm going to say Brady and them is going to give it a little bit. So it's 21, yeah, 28. You got to cover the spread. That three three point spread right now. Uh, Vegas has Chiefs uh, by three. Okay, okay. I got them covering the spread too, and I got them. I got us winning by a touchdown, like JD too. But I got us in the thirties. I I got the game in the thirties. The Chiefs thirty eight, Tampa Bay thirty one. Okay. I think I think Tampa's going to move the ball. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, but I think that we're going to do what we do. You know what I'm saying? So I see us winning thirty eight, thirty one. 35-21, me. Oh, damn. All right, we'll blow out. A little two touchdowns? Yeah. I'll take it. That'll, hey, that'll make me more – hey, the more, the further lead we have, you know, closer <laughs> to the <laughs> – closer to the game being over, it's good for me, baby. I am less stressed. So, I'll take that score all day, E. That's what I'm going with. Okay. <laughs> And someone probably could play. This is something that no one's talking about. Last year we we played Garoppolo. We, we beat it was Brady's protege, and now we're playing the real thing. We're, we're, we're playing we're, we're playing the king, Brady. So it's kind of interesting. We're going from Garoppolo to Brady. We're, we're going with the, uh, the the full Patriots quarterbacks there. And then next year maybe we, we, we'll play Cam in the championship. 
Hey, I just want the same resort that we had against Garoppolo. You ain't kidding. I don't care nothing about that king or whatever. Just get me the W. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like Jameis Winston said, Just get huh? me a parade, baby. You eat them Ws. <laughs> eat them Ws, baby. Get me the parade, baby. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So, we're going to go to our last segment, which is our Chiefs Kingdom Concern segment. It's where I look at tweets from the Chiefs Kingdom and see and have you guys respond to them. The first one's from at and Jakey. So, he quote tweeted a uh, report, which was uh, uh, Jason Pierre Paul's uh, quote about Mike Remmers, where he said, I didn't even know who that was. Man, I'm not going to lie to you. Is this a tackle you're talking about? Like I said, I don't care too much about it. They got to figure it out. And so, and Jakey put, Mike remembers his face on Michael Jordan saying, and I took that personally. So he's making he's a joke. A, the whole thing. You're supposed to take that person. Mm -hmm. so, so and my question to you guys, what, what, what do you think? How do you think Rembrandt will respond to that? Do you think he's going to even gonna like can talk, think about it? Or is that something that you, you would take personally? I mean, it's, I mean, I've had that before, you know what I'm saying? But I, Listen, that, that that's gonna be in the back of your mind, but it's the Super Bowl. You're gonna bring it regardless. You know what I'm saying? Your mindset to bring your A game. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do to help your team win. So he's not gonna be thinking about that comment. You know what I'm saying? He's aware of it, you know, but he's gonna have the same mindset he had before the comment. Was to go all out. Oh yeah. You know what I'm and, and dominate his opponent to help us win. Yeah. It, it's 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 just just chitter chatter to me. Um Pierre Paul is a great player. You know, he's going up against a great offense. So it's, just, it's more than one person that he's facing. You know, he's got to be concerned about whether he knew who he was or not. You know, um, it, it's, it's a challenge that he's got to look forward to. And I know he's all, his main concern is getting to Patrick Mahomes and, and how he gets there. And that's, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a fight he's got to, uh, you know, try to uh, get, try to deal with. Uh, right now, I'm not concerned with any of that. The only chitter chat that I was concerned about that I hated to hear was uh, Tariq Hill won the race old boy at halftime. Like, nah, we need you for the whole game. I don't need you exactly. going back in the, middle of the, in the middle of this game and getting hurt. So cut all that chitter chatter out too. Yeah, I, look, I, I think all it is, man, is look, both those guys got a job to do, right? And it's just one job right here that matters more than anything else. And so, I don't think, you know, with something being offensive, he probably just didn't know who the guy was, you know? I mean, really, he's like, look, like you said, he just worried about getting at the Patrick Mahomes. And so, you know, the offensive line coach is like, look, this is what he's saying about you. So he might use it a little bit of fuel. Yeah. He knows, like, look, I can't make it personal and take myself out of the game because I got to play in the scheme with everybody else. So it ain't about this guy. It's about all these other guys right here that I'm, I'm playing for. That's it. Bottom line, yeah. that's all that matters. That's it. Like, and it, it, one thing that I've been seeing on Twitter is that, that Rammers has something to prove where the last time he was in the Super Bowls with Carolina and Von Miller uh, ate him a lot. I think he had two sacks that game or three sacks on, on Rammers that game. So it's one thing that, you know, they're saying Rammers is, is a different player now. You know, he's, a, he's more seasoned, more veteran, and now he's, he's got a chance to uh, to make up for what he did in that Carolina versus Denver um, Super Bowl. So hopefully that'll add him, uh, give him some extra boost there. All right, so our final Chiefs kingdom concern comes from at 610 Sports KC. They tweeted about a podcast where former Steelers running back Willie Parker uh, uh, was saying that he isn't willing to bet against Tom Brady, even if he thinks Patrick Mahomes is the best player in the league. Parker made the comparison of an aging Michael Jordan facing a young Kobe Bryant. Eric, what are your thoughts on that comparison? You kind of alluded to that a little earlier. I mean, yeah, Tom, Tom is a great player. And, and the thing is, is nobody really wants to go against him. Uh, but there's a new sheriff in town. He's already proven himself. He's already won one. I think he knows what it takes to win another one. They both obviously know what it takes to win. Uh, but right now, I think just the, the younger talent, the overall more gifted Patrick Mahomes, I think he has what it takes, even mentally, to get uh, to go out and pull his victory off. Uh, take nothing from Tom. Tom has had an excellent career. You know, I even take my hat off to Tom for, for the job that he's done, even getting to the Super Bowl this year uh, without Belichick. But, but right now, it's, it's Patrick Mahomes' time. Yep. With Tom's resume, you know what I'm saying? I can see why that's said. But Patrick Mahomes, man, is a bad boy. And that's a man you don't want to bet against. Yeah. I won't. Well, I, I, and I think so, too. The, the same thing, man. It, it, you just can't. Time is somebody that you know is always there. It's almost like, look, Larry Holmes didn't want to knock out Ali, right? But he had to. 
So when mm-hmm. you gotta and see these guys, a guy's just in your way. It just it, it's it's the nature of the beast. That's how it works in this business. So yep. you don't bet against him, but you know also too, he's trying to plant that flag. Like, look, my time is here. What time is done? All right, let's go ahead and win this whole thing. So. Yep. Yep. Well, ho- hopefully all your predictions come true this weekend. Um, I put some money on this game. I'm just gonna say that right now. I, I took us. I, t- I took us to cover the three point spread. So hopefully you guys are all correct. Um, but that does it for our Super Bowl preview. We'll see you next week where we discuss the Super Bowl matchup and look ahead to the off season. Um, there's a lot, already things uh, cooking right now. Uh, this week, Sammy Watkins said he wants to come back, and Brett Beach said he's already looking into it. So. Uh, to all of our followers, please stay tuned as next week we'll send out a Zoom link on Twitter to allow for some of our followers to, to, to come on and ask questions to our famous hosts right here. Um, but as always, if anyone in Chiefs Kingdom has any Chief Concerns for these guys, please tweet at us at, at Concerns Chief and please subscribe and follow Chief Concerns on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Gentlemen, let's run it, let's run it back. And I, Snoop, I, uh, he's gone now. Um, but uh, it was great to have Snoop on the show. It was uh, awesome to hear his raw takes on everything. I loved it. Thank you. Well, fellas, Snoop. good luck. Enjoy the weekend. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Looking yeah. forward to next week. Yes, on sir. a happy note. <laughs> We're going to be there, man. We're going to be there already. Vic- you know, Victory look, Thursday. Look. Victory Thursday. Uh-huh. Victory Thursday. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>